Hey guys, Report Rockstar here. Today we're going to look at another macro tied in with a batch file. It's going to do a multi-step process. This can be just a simple thing to impress your friends uh, or play a joke on your friend. There's always uh, something good. Or there's actually practical application to this as well. So uh, let's take a look at it. What we're going to start off with is just a macro here. And again, I've dropped in a button that will start that macro. Again, you can just insert a picture or clip art and then assign macro and point to what you want. In this case, it's going to run the master. So what this is going to do <clears throat> is simply open up a prompt for a password and user ID. At that point, let's just walk through it. Submit that. What that does, if the password is not correct, then it is going to bring up this prompt and say, not an authorized user, you're now being redirected. Or if the user ID is not uh, correct, it will do that as well. And so now we come over here to our email. <clears throat> now you can see I just got a new email at 913, unauthorized access notification. And what this does is the first step of the macro. We've got this email, it just says hello sir, attempted login by user. Mitch, this is the individual or the account of the computer that is currently logged in at this station. Uh, the user ID submitted was what I typed in to my user ID field. And then the macro that was executed was master and then it gives a date <clears throat> and a time. So it's just kind of a fun, but also a practical application of somewhat of a, a security type feature. If someone was, for some reason, maliciously trying to use a macro that was sensitive, perhaps connected via a DODB connection to a server and return data, payroll data, whatever that might be, you wouldn't want just anybody to be able to use this. And so if someone did attempt it, you would actually get a report of, Okay, who's been trying to log in and use this thing? So that can be quite helpful. So that's the first step. Now we move on. Not an authorized user being redirected. Okay, what happens? Ah. We are prompted to create a new user ID. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and just open this up so you can see the actual batch file. This code or this screen is what has created this. Enter a new user ID. Hmm. Looks like we're going to set ourselves up into the system. It says hi. We're just walking down the list here. It says hi and then it gives the name. Create user profile. Well, let's do it. I'm going to hit one. You can see what's going to happen. Shutdown initiated. Oh no, you have 30 seconds before shutdown is over, then the game. Wow, that's not good. The only way to end this is go in here and type shutdown a into command prompt. That will kill it. Log off is canceled. Scheduled shutdown has been canceled. Perfect. Or safe. That would actually shut down your computer and you would not be happy. Well, you would because if you trick on your friend, they would not be happy. <clears throat> so, what that actually does, I'll take a look at this first since we're here. You can see how we walk through sequentially having the option to create a profile or quit. Two actually does quit and exit the program. One takes you to this. You enter that and it takes you straight to shutdown. Clears the screen. Shutdown exe. Now they have these different commands and command prompt. Let's take a quick look at those so you see what they actually do. Basically just made it nasty. Being as mean as we can with this one. So use it sparingly. Shutdown help. I'll give you the commands here. Alright. 
So shut down dot exe dash s or slash s is the same idea. S shut down your computer dash f. This is going to force the running applications, so anything you have open in Windows, to close without forewarning the user. So they're not going to have an opportunity to save their program, um, or Word document, whatever they have open. And there's no chance whatsoever. So that's what really kind of makes this extra mean. T is time. That's what sets your time out before the shutdown executes. So in this case, it's defaultly set to 30 seconds. C is a comment field, and that simply is the message that you receive. You now have 30 seconds before shutdown, then the game is over. Insert evil laugh. Uh -huh. Then it drops in and says, okay, it's initiated, and type cancel if you want to shut down. If you type cancel, I just have it set to loop to go back to invalid choice, and then you just loop through back and forth again until your computer shuts down. Uh, so really the only way to stop that, at least that I'm aware of, is the shutdown dash A into command prompt. So I'm going to show you that real quick here how to get back in here just in case you're testing this out and you don't want your computer to shut down. If you're using uh, Windows 7 here like I am, you can just command and then the search bar here type cmd, that is your command, mine. If you're running a <clears throat> Windows XP or something along those lines, then you can come in, there's going to be a button over here that says run. Click on run, and then in the box type cmd. That opens up your command screen. Shut down, space, dash a. Enter, that will stop it. In this case, unable to abort system because no shutdown is in progress, so we're safe. I will attach this so you can look at that and download it. The email piece, quickly run through that. Again, I will attach the spreadsheet so you can look at that and study that more thoroughly and adjust it to your need. Simply, we're declaring some variables here UID, user ID, password. And that macro. Those three things are used at the beginning of the master. Macro just defines that in the email. That now define it will say the macro master was run. Do you remember? UID and password are just the two prompts, and what you enter in there sets that variable. Those are passed to the email down here in a little bit. The if statement here says if the user ID it's not equal, equal rockstar, then go to mail. The next macro, which it does. In our example, go to mail. The thing you need to worry about or adjust here is these settings. This is set up for a Gmail account. If you're using Outlook or something else, you will have a slightly different variation on this. Uh, so this currently here is only going to work with a Gmail account. You can search, or maybe I can show another video on how to change that to a different service. At any rate, this is the sending account, so we're the report rockstar at gmail.com. Password I changed just before I made the video and will change again before I post it. And your port. You may have to change these up a little bit uh, if you are using a different service. Here's the body of the email. Uh, hello, sir. Enter, enter. So two spaces. Attempted to log in by username. And that comes from, again, the Windows system who is logged in. The user ID submitted was entered at the password and user ID. And then the macro name, master, on, and now drops in the date and time. So then we come to who we're going to send it to. I sent it to myself. And down here we have the from line, the subject, pretty straightforward, and then the final message box before it sends it off to the batch file that shuts down the computer, which we've already reviewed. The one piece to show you that I didn't 
is how we get the username on the computer. That was simply these four lines here. You can just copy and paste those. That simply finds the user of the machine uh, who's currently logged in and stores it in a variable right here. So there's not really a whole lot to this, but it's a really cool little trick and has some really good practical application as well. Again, I've got these included. You can download below from Dropbox. See what you can come up with. Let me know what you guys find and uh, how your friends like this. All right. We'll see you next week. Happy Thanksgiving. Report Rockstar. Signing off.